Hello and thank you for joining me for another episode of Festo's Garage. Today we're going to be working on a Jeep Commander. We're going to be replacing the upper and lower control arms in the rear. This is going to be done the same for all Jeep Commanders. So follow along because this is a job that you can definitely do yourself. Underneath the Jeep here looking at the passenger side we have the upper arm which is right here and we have the lower arm which is right here and we only need a couple of tools to take these off. This is the easy side. Um, the little bit harder side where you have less room is over on the driver's side. And I'm going to show you that also. But um, this is the, the easiest one to get to. So I'm going to show you this one first. So you have a bolt that goes through here. bolt that goes through here. And that will take that arm out. You got one that goes through here. And one that goes through here. It will take that arm out. Nut is off. That was a 21 millimeter. Next we're going to do this one. That's an 18 and a 21. All right, once it's loose, I can pull it out of the way. Now that we've got that one out of the way, we can get to this next one right here. Right, the nut is an 18, and the stud is a 15. Top ones are both 18 millimeter. Pull the bolts out. Pull the arm out. All right, I have here the upper control arm. You'll see that one end of it has a big washer thing and two round pieces that are like flat guides with these little notches and serrations in them. While the other side has kind of a flat post that goes through and the washer on the on the same side okay so the one with these little mushroom head looking deals you want that to go towards the front and the side that has that washer going around it you want that to go towards the inside so this would be the front inside and that'll orientate that Obviously, we're going to stick the same bolts back where they came out. That's good. Now, this is the lower arm. It's similar to the front one in that you got a big washer on one side. And it's orientated front to back by looking at the way... Is shaped this one round bulbous end with the little slots in it right here goes towards the back this solid looking piece goes towards the front and again these washers right here where it's bigger on one side that's gonna go towards the inside other side's going to be a lot trickier I'm going to show you why boom we got a gas tank in the way so we're going to have to take that gas tank and lower it down a little bit but it's 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 doable this is doable in order to get this fuel tank enough out of the way you need to take all the bolts that are along here out so there's three of them on this side and you also need to take the back ones on the other side out there's only one you can't get to without taking the drive shaft out, and that is this front one way up here, okay? So leave that one in. Support the bottom of the tank with a jack, which I have right here. Take all the bolts out that you can, except for that front corner one, and then let the tank down. That's going to give you enough room to finagle and pull that bolt out on the front of that top control arm in the rear. Okay, right here is the top bolt, and I've knocked it through, and I've got the tank low enough that I can just pull it right out over top of the gas tank. I've got the new bolt pushed back through. Now all I gotta do is stick the nuts back on it. That was the correct direction. Tank still down low. We're gonna put our bottom control arm in. And that goes in 
with this funny looking deal facing the back and these washers that are bigger on one side than the other they go facing the inside so inside this to the back I'll go and put them in place and we'll get this bolt started while the, while the tank is still down go ahead and get the nut started on it we can go ahead and lift the tank back into place all right let's do that crank it back up close to where it goes and we'll do the same thing we're going to start all the bolts once we get them all started we'll tighten them down well that's another job done on this jeep commander we've got some more stuff to do to it and i'll make some videos of that probably and i'll share them online but um, this is definitely a job that you could do yourself. These rear control arms, it might take a little bit more effort because the, you don't have the vehicle way up in the air over top of your head like this. But you can definitely get it done with some jack stands, some general's tools, and a jack. That's all you'll need. If you watched the video to this point, I'd like to say thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please click the like button and the subscribe button. Until next time, Greg Festo out.